Okay, so we've downloaded this monster file. This is Ubuntu. This is a disk image. You can't just run this. You have to run it with some sort of virtualization software. Or you can use this. You can burn this onto a DVD and install it onto your computer as the sole operating system of your computer. We obviously don't want to do that. We want to keep our windows on this machine. But in this video, we're going to install this using VirtualBox in a virtual machine, right? So double click this guy to open up your VirtualBox. Boom. And now we just want to click new. And you can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it Ubuntu. And as soon as I start to type in Ubuntu, this thing already knows, wait a second, you're you're going to do Linux, right? So that's good. This is 64-bit. We downloaded that 64-bit thing. So click next. Now, memory size. Remember, it the default, it needs at least, what did it say, two gigabytes of memory. So this is one gigabyte, right? So two point, or 2048. That would be, I guess, two, two gigabytes. Does that sound right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and give this two, eh, maybe a little bit more. What would be 3,000? 60, 3,072, does that sound right? 3,072, let's grab our calculator. So 10, 24 times three. 3,072, so let's give this three gigabytes. As long as you have the, the default, it'll work. It's just, it'll be slower and that's sort of annoying. So now it's asking for a hard disk. Do we want to create an actual hard disk or have, let it do a virtual thing? And the default is to create a hard disk now. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's click all the defaults, dynamically allocated or fixed size. So dynamically it will grow or shrink based on your usage. I'm gonna go fixed and I'm just gonna make this 50 gigabytes. Remember when we looked at that screen on the web browser in the last video, let's see, is it still, we can go back. Yeah, so we need at least 25 gigabytes. We've got the two gigabytes memory. We put three in. Now we need at least 25. So I just doubled that and put 50. Put whatever you're comfortable with. If you've got a computer with a huge hard drive, you know, put 100. It really doesn't matter. Whatever you do. So now we click create and it's spinning up. Now here is where our hard drive is located. Users, Flat Planet, Virtual Box. Flat Planet is just the name of my computer because I think it's hilarious. Some people think the world is flat. <laughs> but you can actually navigate to this directory and see this hard drive being once it's created. You don't ever really need to do that unless you want to delete it or something but uh, this is where it's located on your computer. So you can see 9%, four minutes remaining. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and just let this do its thing. We'll come back as soon as this is finished. Okay, so that finished and it took a little bit longer than it suggested, about 10 minutes or so. And you can see we've got this Ubuntu listed here now and we need to do a couple of more things before we can actually fire this thing up and use it. So click on settings here, make sure this is highlighted. I just clicked on it and we can kind of walk through these settings here and go to systems and then this shows how much base memory. We remember we set this at three gigabytes. Uh, the processor, how many CPUs. I'm gonna crank this up to three. This is gonna depend a little bit on, well, it's gonna depend a lot on your computer, how much memory you have available. Acceleration, we can leave that. Display, monitor count, video memory. I'm gonna crank this up. Okay, so now storage. Now, remember we downloaded that version of Ubuntu. Now we need to sort of connect it here using this thing. So click on here and then come up to this little CD image thing and choose virtual optical disk file. And this one is already listed. So if yours isn't listed, remember we downloaded this Ubuntu file to our desktop. Just click this choose virtual optical disk file button right here and then just navigate to wherever you downloaded it. You can see it's right here on my computer, just on our desktop here and just click it to add it like that. So you can see my version is 16.04.3. Yours is probably at least 16.04.4 or higher. Uh, just whatever that version is that you downloaded, go ahead and click it. And you can see it pops up right there. So we're good to go there. Um, audio network should be okay. Uh, shared folders, you can add a folder on your Windows machine if you want it to be accessible through your Linux box. Uh, we're not gonna do that now. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We can go ahead and click OK and it saves all this stuff. Now it's all good to go. We can see a snapshot of all the things here whenever we click on here. So in the next video, we'll fire this thing up and actually install Ubuntu.